Hi everybody, it's Dr. A. Good to see you. I'm here today, I just scanned it briefly, at the House of Refuge in Martin County, Gilbert's Bar. And this is the oldest structure in the county. It was a life-saving station. And these were important places on the coast of Florida. Florida had a long, long, uninhabited coast for much of its early history and in 1876 the u.s life serving stations excuse me u.s life saving service constructed 10 house of refuge these were for shipwrecked sailors who when they wrecked off the florida coast oftentimes they could make it to shore and then they died from starvation if I turn back to the house, which will slowly pan back over, I'm going to talk about some of the other things here. You can see it's quite a large structure, and that's because these life-saving stations were staffed by keepers and their families. They lived down here all by themselves, and it, if I pan over and look down at the Indian River, I mean, it's, it doesn't look like it's isolated today, but it was. It was an isolated spot. And they were here in order to help save these sailors. Part of their job was they had to walk the coast and look for isolated sailors who were suffering and laying on, you know. They, they, when a wreck happened, it just, there were some people who made it. It doesn't mean they were in good shape, but they did make it. The, in 1915, the house service, the life-saving service, merged with the Revenue Cutter Service to become the U.S. Coast Guard, and this became the U.S. Coast Guard Station Number 207. Today, it's under restoration. I unfortunately am here over a holiday break, and it's closed for restoration. <laughs> it, it's in. 1915 the keeper at that time was Alex Johansson and his wife Kate and they remained here on duty after it became a part of the US Coast Guard but Alex's title was changed from keeper to surfman one and four other men were stationed at the house so that's why it had to be so large okay and these were augmented in World War One by the Home Guard composed of area young men who worked here so we're gonna walk down, and I say we, because of course Randog's with me, and I'm gonna talk about this structure and what happened and why this was built. But uh, I'm gonna go down this way. So I'm gonna turn the camera off while I walk here on the street. It's kind of busy. If I show you what it looks like the other way, you'll see this is a kind of a narrow street. And so I gotta turn the camera off so I can cross the street. See you there. Bye. All right, I am on the other side of the station, and I just want you to see the ocean. That's why I turned camera on. Look at the waves today. You can imagine being out here on a ship. It's called a bar because there's a reef here. And uh, there's actually a uh, sunken ship off the coast here called George's Valentine. Here's a sign about it. And you can actually snorkel here. And I actually read in one, listen to those waves, man. It's drink in the day. We're going to go down and look at some more beach stuff. But anyway, I read that at one point you could still see the mast sticking out of the water. Uh, obviously can't see anything here today. So let me climb up here. Hopefully I don't get wet. That's some good waves today. But what happens off the coast here during World War II is German submarines do make it here to Florida, the shipping lanes. I don't know if you know anything about Florida, but off the coast we have the Gulf Stream. And it's one of the main waterways to get 
north from the Caribbean and U-boats waited out there and bombed merchant ships. So what they did, this began in 1942, was they built this lookout tower to look for U-boats. Ah, I'm going to get wet. I'm going to keep moving. But I wanted you to see this angle. Sorry about that. It is, it's like I said, it is quite a lot of surge today. We got some good swells. But here you see we're at it. And I'll kind of stick the camera through here. Okay, just to give you a view of the back, I just stuck my camera through the fence. As I said, they're doing restoration here. Let me turn and look back. You can see this beautiful beach. What a beautiful day. This is winter in South Florida. It is great. But anyway, there, uh, there were quite a few ships sunk by U-boats here. And being from, we're further south in Palm Beach County, I know that I actually did interviews of survive, well not survivors of the shipwrecks themselves, but people who had seen wrecks that came ashore with, you know, wounded sailors. And so these were valuable places, even up into the modern period. In 1953, the government had, the house had sat empty after 1945, it was decommissioned. And then that's when the county purchased it in 53. And in 1955, the Martin County Historical Society was formed to protect the house and keep it as a museum. So it is a really amazing resource here. I hope some of you get to enjoy it one day and make it here to the House of Refuge. Let me turn the camera back on. Hey, it's good to see everybody. Hope you had a great new year. Remember, it's Dr. Ray with History Surfer. Don't forget to subscribe. I always forget to say that because I'm just here because I like doing this so much so I can keep working at this. I have to convince Red Dog that I spend days off doing this. But peace out, everybody. I'll see you again, hopefully soon. Ciao.